False context. This category describes genuine content that has been reframed in dangerous ways. One of the most powerful examples of this technique was posted shortly after an Islamist-related terror attack on Westminster Bridge in London in 2017. A car mounted the curb and drove the length of the bridge, injuring at least 50 people and killing five, before crashing into the gates of the Houses of Parliament, one tweet was circulated widely in the aftermath. This is an authentic image. Not fake. It was shared widely, using an Islamophobic framing with several hashtags, including hashtag banislam, the woman in the photograph was interviewed afterward and explained she was traumatized, on the phone with a loved one. And, out of respect, not looking at the victim. We now know that this account, Texas Lone Star, was part of a Russian disinformation campaign and has since been shut, since been shut down, an account associated with a Russian disinformation campaign implies that the Muslim woman depicted was indifferent to the victim of an attack. In reality, she was not looking at the victim out of respect. The account has been deleted but was reported in The Guardian. Another example that caused significant outrage was the image of a child inside a cage circulating in the summer of 2018.IT received over 20,000 retweets. A similar post on Facebook received over 10,000 shares. The picture was staged as part of a protest two days earlier at Dallas City Hall against immigration policies, another example of a genuine image where the context got framed and warped. In this example, however, the author did not realize it was part of a protest when he shared the image. It was a case of misinformation, not disinformation. Similarly, during the lead-up to the U.S. midterm election, there was much coverage around the caravan of immigrants traveling to the U.S. from Central America. Genuine imagery was shared, but with misleading framing. One was this Facebook post, an image of Syrian refugees in Lesbos, Greece, from 2015. Another example of false context is this tweet circulated on election day of the 2018 midterm elections. It was based on a video of a broken voting machine highlighting the wrong name when pressed. The device was taken out of operation, and the person was allowed to vote on a machine working correctly. But this tweet, posted by someone with a username referencing the QAnon conspiracy, used the video to push the idea that this was a more extreme example of targeted voter fraud.